Despite the lack of helmets and pads, there was plenty of action in the 11th annual famous Idaho Potato Bowl 7 on 7 tournament. Over 900 student athletes across 21 high school teams gathered for a shot at preseason glory. The final game of the contest would be an all 5A SIC matchup. Unfinished business for the Meridian Warriors after back to back state runner up finishes. They came out strong today as they faced off with Capital and they'd be the team to strike first. Zeke Martinez throws a strike down the middle cold. Jones reels it in for the first touchdown of the day, but Capital strikes back real quick. Look at this catch. Brody Cole reeling it in with one hand as he trots into the corner of the end zone. Great pass from A.J. Danahy to make this one happen, and that connection was on full display throughout the game. They teamed up for three touchdowns. Here's another one of them. Way deep, a moon ball. Call comes down with it in the back of the end zone. Capital hung right in this game until the end of the first half, but Meridian would get some stops, keep it rolling on offense. Martinez, a great ball there. Carver Martin goes up to get it. Somehow got his feet down in the end zone for the touchdown. The game was a shootout, but the Meridian defense was the difference maker in the final two minutes. They hold on to win it 28 to 26. The first time the program has ever taken home a trophy. They're going to celebrate this one, but they've also got a long season ahead that they hope is going to go deep into November. I mean, it's awesome. You know, it was just a great team effort today. Uh, offense is great, defense is great. Coaches helped us out the whole time. So this is a great win, but, uh, you know, we got a lot of work to do still. You know, the past two years, we just came this close, so we just got to finish it this year, keep putting in that work. Tournament itself was far from the only thing this weekend. Let's put some respect on the offensive line. Look at these guys pushing the truck. While the skill guys played seven on seven, the O-linemen showed off their skills in a variety of different competitions. Some standouts included the truck push, the tire flipping races, and the seeded medicine ball toss. In the end, Mountain View prevailed with the best team score. And you know what? It's nice to see the guys who do all the work in the trenches finally get to be in the spotlight. The Maverick O-linemen certainly enjoyed this one. We've been working really hard this entire summer and off season, and it's really cool to see all that effort and hard work actually come out into something before the season. It's kind of a good like margin so we can kind of see where we're at. It's just a fun way to like compete with other schools and to have fun against uh, other teams. Just have fun competing. Doing stuff that's not going to get us hurt. Well, as linemen, we don't really get the praise. Everybody notices when we do something wrong. So being able to come out here and get shown you know, recognition for some or accomplishment, it's pretty nice. And finally, it only lasted about 30 seconds, but it was one of the most exciting events of the day. The O-linemen also faced off in a tug of war, a great way to show all the work they've been putting in in the offseason in the weight room. The top four teams from the Lineman Challenge got to face off in a single elimination tournament. Mountain View, Capital, CUNA, and Eagle took the ropes. You can see the determination to come out on top and get the ultimate bragging rights. In the end, it was CUNA defeating Capital in the championship. They say the banner they won is going straight to the weight room. Oh, we feel great. Yeah. We're excited, Strong, yeah. yeah. Oh, We're ready to go beat some people up, that's for sure. All the hard yeah. work paying off. We love tug of war, we love competing, so, you know, it was great. Love winning. Love winning, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a great feeling, being stronger than everybody. Thanks, thanks.